Okay, so I want to write a note here. This could perform a um, numerical differentiation. Okay, so function file. Function y adalah output, f adalah file name, input dia x. And then you'll have y equals to exp negative x squared. Ha. Huh. Kita tengok ada yang ada bracket, ada yang ada. So this is, this is fine. This is fine, okay? This is the first. So, the name of this function file is f.sci. Okay, ni f ni eh. Okay, now the second one, function y equals to d1. Input dia x dengan h. And then, boleh tak saya buat macam ni? d1 sama dengan tak boleh sebab sama dengan ni, dia kena sama dengan yang atas kita define. So, it cannot be d1, it should be y equals to f x plus h minus fx, put a bracket all over, divide by h. See that? See that? Now, how the function know what is f? Kita kita bagi nama f. Nampak? Boleh tak saya bagi nama fp? Kelas boleh tak saya bagi nama fp? Kat mana saya kena ubah? Bawah ni nanti dia jadi FP, FP. Okay, good. I think you got that concept, right? Okay, this is the D1 formula. Now, let me just write a note here. The name. Bukan if, of. Oh. The name of this function. Of this function is D1.SCI. This is D1 formula. Okay. Ni cuma catatan untuk awak. Mana tahu lepas satu hari nanti awak lupa. Okay. Now the second one is the D2 formula. D2. The same concept. Function. Y equals to D2. X. H. Okay. So what do we have? Uh, y equals to F of x plus h minus f x minus h divided by 2 times h. Okay, so I can copy this whole thing again, just change the name. So the function, the name of this function file is d2.sci. This is d2 formula. Dah. Ada tiga function file. Is there any other function file? Kalau you nak buat Z lah. Boleh juga. Okay, biar kalau tak nak buat, tak apa. Okay, this is the three things kita kena ada. F, D1, D2. Okay. Ingat eh. I like to read function first. Line by line. Now, what is the input that we have? Okay, so we know X equals to. 1, y, um, y, h equals to 0 0.2, okay. very simple uh, solution adalah macam ni eh, ok saya copy yang ni, tengok saya copy, letak di sini, saya panggil dia y1, eh, y1 equals to, ok, and then disp y1. And then the next one, y2 equals to d2, x, h, d, i, s, p, y2. Uh, and this is a very simple. I don't have to do m, print, f, nothing. Now you can ask me, doctor, but this is y1. Kita define adalah y. Boleh tak macam tu? Boleh. Boleh. 
Boleh eh? Boleh. Input ni, dia takkan ingat X ataupun H. Dia ingat kedudukan. Ada berapa input? Dua input. So, you are going to make sure you have two input. But the function file name must be the same. Must be the same. Uh, what do you want to call it? Exercise 1. Exercise 1. Okay. Save. Let's see the output. Sama tak dengan jawapan yang you dapat? Ah, kenapa D2 formula lain? Ah, tak sama? Rasa saya salah. Equation D2 saya. Okay, let's check. Apa yang salah? Ah, salah juga sini. You must have a bracket here. Put a bracket to and H. Okay, run it again. Ya, yeah, nampak? Sama macam kita buat. Okay, so, bila nak hantar, janganlah hantar macam ni. Saya tak tahu what are you doing. So, write, write a note a little bit. So, what's the note? Maybe I can put something like the DISP. D, D1. Approximation is okay. Ah, contoh. And then the next one, D I S P. The D two approximation is okay. There you go. Boleh class. You can. That the answer must be similar with your hand calculation. Now, how can you do extrapolation? Okay, saya nak cari T22. Can you find T22? This side note that you have, continue to find the extrapolation for T22. I want you to do a Extrapolation untuk D1. So, kita nak tengok adakah dia sama dengan Z solution. Okay. Extrapolation. Extrapolation. Okay, there are a few ways to do it. Like I say, okay, first one, you want to find, let's use this one, D2. Okay, so what you do here, you call it um, Y2A, this is H over 2. And then you call Y2B equals to D2, one with, one with H over 2, one with H. Okay, so T22 equals to 4 times Y2A. Minus Y2B. Uh, is it very difficult? It's, it's not that complicated once you understand the concept. Divide by 3. That's it. So, the lighter command, DISP. Let's check whether the answer is correct, okay? The best approximation using H over 2 and H is DISP. Uh, no. T22. There you go. Okay, let's check. We get exactly like that. Hello, any? Betul? Same. Okay. So, that's how you do it. Apa yang susah, class? Remember the formula. Okay, what is this? This is Y2A, Y2B. This is Y22, right? But this is actually your T11. This is your T21. Ha, boleh guna formula terus if you want to do that. So, T... Oh, terbalik. Terbalik, kan? Let me just fix it properly. This is T11. This is T21. Okay. And then we have T21 minus... T11 divided by 3. There you go. 
Now, let's continue a little bit further where you want to find T33, right? So, T31 equals to H over 4. Okay, so what is T22? 32. What is 32? Okay, I'm going to copy here. This will be uh, 31 minus 2. And I have no idea whether you know what I'm doing. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm doing? The table. Exhibition table can. Kita ada. Okay, T33 equals to, who remember the formula? 16 times T33 minus T22 correct? Divide by 15. Betul tak? Tak, betul tak, betul tak? Okay, and now you have another note here using H over 4. H over 4. H and H over 2 is? Yes. Kejap, kejap. Uh, kejap. Oh, ya, yeah, tiga dua. Kenapa tiga tiga pula? Okay, akan ada error lah nanti sebab dia tak define kan? It's okay, okay. Yeah, like this, correct? Good. So, meaning you understand. Okay, this whole thing that we do. Very simple, very straightforward. Now, let's see what you get. This is the best approximation for T33. Okay. Uh, is that tadi berapa? Cuba kita tengok. Is that? Did I do is that? This is that. 0.73576. Look at here. Ah, look at here. Actually, T22 already give me give me the best approximation, right? It's already good enough. You don't have to go further. But if you are taking longer decimal places, okay, for instance, if you look at this one, uh, cuba bagi saya penuh. Tadi siapa ada kira? Ada bagi penuh tak? Instead of five decimal places, uh, siapa? Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Don't worry. Let's find the exact. Exact solution. Okay. Okay, tengok ada yang tengah salin kan? Saya bagi you all salin dulu lah sekejap. Okay, tambah exact kat bawah. So, how do we do it? Um, exact equals to, let's do a function file. Function y equals to exact x, y equals minus times xt. I think minus 2x times xt, negative x power 2. Okay, so next step is finding the numerical errors. Okay, so error 1, it's absolute value. Y, saya panggil dia EX eh, ah, tak apalah, yeah just like that should be fine, uh, okay let's do it like this, EZ, X, minus T21, A T22, okay, it error 2 equals to absolute value, Z X minus T three three. 